the Seattle Seahawks. Two former division rivals in the old AFC West, the Seahawks and Chargers are underway. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Okay, so ready. first and 10 now Red from the 30. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Here's Walker to start the drive. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. It'll go as a loss of three right away, and it's second down. Sometimes being a linebacker in the middle of the field is kind of like being a doctor on the field. You got to make the right diagnosis. Here he correctly Here sets his run and shoots through to make the play in the backfield. Just beating the play clock, Smith. Now the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Connect. And this opening drive not going to play. Tiger, this is now Tiger. third and 13. Pass to 60. Pass to 60. possession of the game so the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten walker now at first and, ten. and he'll be brought down at about the 42 here's second and nine just a yard on that last run here's smith under a heavy rush and down he goes Kenneth Murray coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. He only gave them an instant to react. It was a classic case of if you blink, you missed him. Off of the line to the quarterback in just a couple of seconds. Running back only had a moment to react and attempt to throw a block. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Looking for Lockett, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Nasir Adderley. And the Chargers are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. Offensively, a far from ideal start there with a pick on the opening drive. Yeah, not exactly what they were looking for. We know that. That's pretty obvious. The beauty, though, is it's happening early. If they don't panic, they don't compound this problem, they've got a long way to go and a chance to get back in it. They started on the ground with Eckler. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. But let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. It's Eckler again. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Power looking for three yards to pick up the first. And now he spiked it on third down. He heard a whistle. There was no whistle. He just got up and spiked it. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. And here's 
there's a very low line drive almost whipped on it pulled in at the 24. Officially, that'll be marked down as just a 28-yard punt. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Ready. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Well, they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. A few things better than a big man interception. You can always tell right when they get the football, there's that level of excitement and nervousness and also like, what the heck do I do with this thing? <laughs> and you say, no better sight? Well, not for the quarterback to just throw it. It's bad enough to throw a pick, but throw one to the big guy? But you're right about that. Now what do I do with it? But what's Let's fun about it is, you know they're going to be in the film room after this ball game, tell all their teammates, maybe I should throw it on offense. I can see it. So I always find myself cheering for them after they intercept it. Unfortunately here, he couldn't make it into the end zone. Oh, he didn't spike it. He faked it. Uh, nowhere to go for Herbert, and he's going to go down. Multiple players can be for their team's first sack of the game. You just close the ball, and you can expect pressure from the defense. Can, but this is third and goal. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. I get the thought process. Third and short. Give it to the fullback. Let him bulldoze his way. But that means you're counting on your offensive line to win a lot of scrimmage, aren't you? Yeah, and there was just a mass of bodies there at the line. Looked like more defenders than offensive guys. Winds up losing yardage. defense is to stack the line of scrimmage trying to force a safety or force a turnover there but if you've got a good defensive front you just allow them to play the run and everyone else stays ready and they were and they picked that one off uh, and, and am i seeing this correctly they brought out the field goal team here on first down from the left hash a chip shot here kick is good and that'll do it for the first quarter of play three nothing after one on ea sports Hopkins now out to kick it away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line.
Here we go. Set. Here's the Seattle Lightning, offense ready to get this drive underway. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Ready, ready? 18 Cardinal, 18 Cardinal. On first down, it's Smith. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Ready, set. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Stick second and 15. Go. Throwing now is Gino. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. It just appeared there that the defense, they had that red from the moment the ball was snapped. And not only do they get the interception, add a nice return on top of it, all the way to the end zone for a defensive touchdown. Yeah, and the guy made the play. He gets the points. That really was a group effort, wasn't it? How about the coaches? They've got to be so excited. All the preparation, time in the film room, it translated into a big play that put points on the board for their team. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Go! Coming to the line here to begin their next Tiger, drive, the Seahawks Tiger. offense. Alert. Alert. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together. And say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily that you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. I hate to say it, Charles, but the way that he has played in this first half, you just kind of hold your breath every time he drops back to pass. Yeah, you might be holding your breath for those guys on the defensive side of the ball. <laughs> They've got big smiles on their faces. He's handing out picks like the people just leave the candy out at Halloween and you take what you want. They're having a blast out there playing against him today. On third down, here's Walker. And he's going to be a yard short. Needed four, ready. but got three. Cougar 19. Ready, ready. They snap it to Smith. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A big roll of the dice 
chance on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all Let's the, go now. both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going 70, through every 70. situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense. They can't get the stop here. Smith's throw caught here by Metcalf. Let's go. Second down at six Mike now from the 42. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. Then he finds his target. It's Marquise Goodwin. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. 18 Cardinal, 18 Cardinal. Throwing again is Smith. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Second and seven. 60 Bison, 60 Bison. the flag yeah he hadn't gotten far enough away from the pocket to throw that football away and that draws the flag yeah the old tackle box right get outside of each tackle and then you can go ahead and throw it away and you're in good shape but if you're back there in the pocket you got to make sure of what you're doing the yardage and of course they also lose the down on the grounding call and it's quickly second and long now Gino no chance to get away there for Smith as he goes down multiple players getting home there for an 8 yard loss 18 Rattler 18 Huckle Huckle Third and long, it's Smith going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Myers' kick is good, and they get themselves on the board here. It's 10-3. Well, still trailing here, but they do get the late field goal. Now their defense will try to keep this score right where it is heading into the locker room. Yeah, and trailing it to break, you obviously don't want to go in off of a negative play. Give them credit for that one. Finding a way to put points on the board. Give them any type of a spark, anything to build off of as they try and plan a comeback. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Hey. The Charger drive about to get going. And we'll see how much they want to push things. Hey. Leading already here 10 to 3. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. The final shot before the break for Herbert. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. 
So we have reached halftime. Intermission with the visiting Chargers on top. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Charger drive about to get going. And they got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation and pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Complete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. This is a counter play. Eckler. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, it was a little bit of a hole, but it was there quickly at the end. Search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Go. On third down, here's Eckler. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. It's fielded at the 45. Officially just 27 yards there on the punt. And the Seahawks have great field position to start this drive. They take over on the short side of the field. Come on, come on. Hey. Six the Eagles, six the Eagles. Gino on first down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync hey. thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. It's Khalil Mack that time shooting in there to get him to the ground. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Yeah, because they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and their line blocking. But to me, it seems silly. Yeah, well, they're silly, and it leads to a play action okay, sack. Okay, break! Hawk 70, Hawk 70. 60 Bobcat, 60 Bobcat. Here we go on fourth, Smith. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. Let 
So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now a toss running left, Eckler. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They're going to go toss right side with Eckler. And the result here, the same as the last play. Another tackle behind the line of scrimmage by the Seahawks defense. Two yards the loss there. Now third and 14. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays and results of a plenty of loss yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. So time to start going in the other direction. As they come up now, third and long. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Going deep here for Allen. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off by Sidney Jones. And the Seahawks are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. So they try to take the deep shot there, but this defense up to the task. Ready, and a lot of times when you air a ball out like this, Lucky if it does get intercepted, there's going to be a lot of space out there to set up a return. And remember, you've got five big offensive linemen out there playing on their feet in open space. Not a skill most of them possess that allows for extra yardage on the return. like right at the 50. Give him five on the carry yeah. there, and it'll be second down. 18 Cardinal, 18 Cardinal. Sticking with Walker on second. Down. You ain't going nowhere. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Next with a heavy Bison. set out there. Bison. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. They'll fake it. Now Smith out to his left. And that is incomplete. His impatience has to be bubbling over, trying to find a way to get his team to the end zone for the first time. He did find a way to break contain Let's and get now. outside to buy his receivers Let's no extra go, time. But the connection couldn't be made on that throw. Ready. On fourth down, Smith. He's got his tight end fan. He will have the conversion and more than that. The 20. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Fourth down conversion plays. You usually think one, two, three yards, maybe 10. Not there. What a huge pickup as the sticks make a drastic shift forward. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Kenneth Murray able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Another try after. 
after the first down sack. Smith. Yeah, he's just throwing the ball up for grabs now. Fortunately, that one going to fall incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Okay, ready? Flying around, making plays Pass on the 50, ball. And we 50. see yet another errant throw as a result. To throw is Smith. He'll find good one here on the right side. Hey! Six the eagle! Six the eagle! Ready? Desperation time for Smith on fourth down. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Seahawks go for it but can't convert. And the Charger defense stands tall and they get the football back. The Charger drive about to get going. Their defense forced the turnover on downs. They've got the lead. They're in good shape, but can't go into a shell here, right? Still got to be careful. Yeah, because they're still a long way away from kneel down time. So they've got work on getting first downs, keep the sticks moving, right? Keep the clock going, and above all, ball security. Don't turn it over. Brandon, you know how many times we've done games, and at the start of the fourth quarter, we see both teams hold up the four fingers, fourth quarter is ours. Well, how about this drive? You saw the four fingers for four-minute offense, and this offensive line has really hunkered down and established themselves. Now, this is where they say, put the game on our shoulders, we'll lead the way, right? No doubt about it. And let me tell you, if you're a running back, all you want to do is get behind those big fellas, have a little vision, and find some space. And a solid way to do that on the first play of the drive there. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And sometimes things come together exactly like you want. It's not just been the volume of carries he's had in this contest. It's been the production as well. Signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Once more, here's Eckler. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game now? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. That's a great job of working the sideline right there. I love how he tracked the football the whole way. Just reached up and pulled it in. Had excellent field presence to understand where he was in order to make that play happen. Here we go. Here we go. Fourth quarter down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Running on first down, Eckler. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. And Justin Coleman brings him down. All runners count on their eyes to find the gaps and creases to find open space. There was absolutely none on that one. Totally swallowed up on that play. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Take it from the 18 to the 15. A gain of three. 
Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. They'll try the right side with Eckler. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler, a 15-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. What a huge touchdown that was, obviously, here in the late stages of the fourth quarter as they try to put this one away. And, Brandon, when they watch the film after this week, they'll be very proud of every rep if they close this game out. Just a few snaps remaining. They can't relax just yet. And it's no good. He missed it wide to the left. back out there to boom this one away maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss fields this way up at the 17 and they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30 Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side. Their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. Here we go, here we so go. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Go. Now Smith. He completes this to Walker. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. Cougar 19. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Multiple defenders get to him there, and that is the sixth time he's been sacked in this ball game. Let's go. One last throw here for Smith. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Kenneth Murray, who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. So this one's over. It's in the win column for the L.A. Chargers. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second-half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second.